Good morning, and welcome to Litmus Test. Today we're going to continue thermodynamics and our ideas of thermodynamics, and we're going to look at energy. Energy is stuff that isn't matter. Energy is also a property of matter, but it's best thought of as the fuel for work. There's energy that cannot be used for work, of course. Energy is just something that stuff has, and it is, in some sense, a thing that is, which is a really weird thing to say, but generally, you know, energy is what you use to do stuff. Energy is what you use to do work. Energy comes in a lot of different forms. Light, heat, kinetic, and potential. But when we say potential, we mean stored energy. And there's a lot of different ways we can store energy, and a lot of different ways we can use energy. So to examine some of this, we're going to go over this way. Now off in the distance you can kind of see I have uh, something exciting awaiting us. That's right. I've gone ahead and set up some little windmills. And I've picked up a feather along the way. You know? So, when we talk about stored energy, there's a lot of different ways that we can store energy and a lot of different ways we can use it. One way to store energy is simply just to hold something up high and then let it fall. You can see that in these water wheels here. Energy is starting on top of this little mountain and it is falling down and as it falls it passes through these water wheels. Well, energy is stored in the system. But the energy isn't the thing that's falling. The energy is the water, right? But as this water starts up high and it falls down, it loses that energy. Think of it like this. Can the water fall? Sure. Can the water spontaneously go back up? We'll get to what spontaneously means in a bit, but no, not really. Water doesn't just go up on its own. Water goes down and then it stops. So we say that at the top there's potential energy. And at the bottom there's, well, less energy. And we convert that potential energy into other types. Here we're using water wheels, and these water wheels are converting the potential energy into a couple other types, mostly electricity here in this capacitor, but also light in this power lantern, and heat in this furnace. And using this furnace, we can convert that energy into other stuff. We can convert it into chemical potential energy, which is this charcoal. And we talked about last time that this charcoal in Minecraft holds a lot of chemical potential energy. We can use this charcoal to, you know, burn other stuff. So we can stick the charcoal in and burn some more wood, releasing that chemical potential energy from this piece of charcoal into more pieces of charcoal. In the meanwhile, we're using some of our electrical energy to produce light, to produce heat in the form of this heater, which will then cook up our wood. And of course we can use this energy for other forms of work too. So when we talk about um, energy, there's a lot of different types. We can talk about gravitational potential energy, stuff that stays up high and falls. We can talk about electrical potential energy, stuff we store in a capacitor or a battery. We can talk about thermal or heat energy, which can be used to cook things and just keep us warm. There's, of course, light, which is used for, well, you know, seeing and other light-based applications and activities. We also have kinetic energy, which is how we are getting the potential energy of the uh, water into electricity, and it's also what is powering our two windmills here. You'll notice that one of them is, of course, harnessing the kinetic energy much better than the other. And, in the distance, you may have noticed lightning rod, which if it actually was struck by lightning, which would be impressive because I've been waiting here for like 20 minutes and it hasn't yet, um, yeah, that would also convert some electrical energy directly from being potential in the atmosphere to potential stored in a capacitor. So there are a lot of different types of energy, and they can all be used to do work. So energy, stuff that's not matter, and it's stuff that can be used to do work. There's lots of different types of energy. And when we talk about work, we talk about energy being used to do something. Whether that's changing pressure or volume or temperature by heating something up, whether we're stirring something or filtering something or adding more substance to something. So if we have a chemical reaction 
and we've got a beaker and we're going to add more substance by dissolving something in, we're doing work on that system. If we're going to mix uh, water and alcohol together, we are doing work on that system. But if we uh, mix, let's say, some acid and base together and it heats up, then we say that the system is doing work on the surroundings. If maybe we add a metal to some acid and it releases hydrogen gas that fills up a balloon, we would say that that system is doing work on the balloon by increasing the pressure, increasing the volume inside that balloon by releasing gas. It is doing work. Doing work most of the time is associated with a change in volume or a change in pressure, but it can also be a change in temperature. This is less often considered work, but it is still work. Generally, in your equations and in your math, you're going to see a lot of work terms that involve changing volume and changing pressure. This is because in chemistry, we handle heat separately from work. We call work something that happens physically with volume or pressure, and we call heat something that happens separately. So heat is So we call heat something, a, a form of energy that is like work, but it is separate from work. And we're going to come back to how heat and work are both forms of energy, and we're going to come back to that in another video in the future. So to review, we have energy, which is stuff that isn't matter, but it's a property of matter, and it is within matter. It can be in several different kinds. We've got kinetic and potential and electrical. We have light and down there, thermal energy, all in one. And we have work, which is what our energy is used for. We, in this case, for turning water wheels, or lighting things up, or just having some fire over there. These are all forms of work that we're using our energy for. So until next time, thanks for watching, stay safe, and don't catch on fire.